down to Somali and let's not tell one of the all progressive companies. Let me associate myself with all the um, some of the comments that we have made in the partnership. Let us move to. On behalf of Kalpaki, we have confidence in Africa. But what we have not explained with due respect is why did you have to wait till 2 a.m. this month to realize that you have logistic challenges? Because over the week, some people raised that about whether or not INEC was in a position to proceed with the election. And you keep reassuring the country that you are ready. Because, like, the gentleman from maybe young, you know, one of the uh, just speakers said, we have incurred a lot of costs to mobilize party agents to 176,000 polling units across the country. This is a huge cost, it is a huge risk, and there are huge logistics. So as much as INEC has huge logistics to cope with, every serious presidential candidate has just as much huge logistics to, to, to cope with. But unlike INEC that can fall on public treasury, political parties have to look for resources to mobilize their agents to various polling points. So to beg the question with due respect when you say EV conveniences are the cost, serious inconveniences are the cost, Nigerians have been subject to rude shock, and I don't know what anybody thinks, I think that is extremely cold. So when people are saying congratulations, commendation, what would we do if we were successful? I think we should be honest. I am shocked, I am disappointed, I am disgusted. I will insist, Mr. Chairman, with all due respect, is to tell us why by Wednesday you are not in a position, since you acknowledge that the weather was bad, you should have taken all of this into account and announced this postponement at least 48 hours before the due time, so that political parties, political parties don't have to mobilize resources across one hundred and seventy six thousand for the unit. Observers will stay where they are, and a lot of incognitions will represent. Yes, we have postponed the election before, and we should not discuss it. The election that was postponed in 2015 was at the instance of the then president, who cited security reasons. It was not by either. The one that was, that was postponed in 2011 was the result of inconclusive material. But we don't have to be detained by the conventions of the past. We ought to have benefited from those lessons. And in all of this, the key issue is not whether election was postponed. Why at 2 a.m.? Why at 2 a.m. on the day of the election? You have more, you, know, you have explanation more to do. Because for me, it's not enough to, I don't associate myself to say, to those who say commendation. No, let me, let me. Let's be honest. In 2015, we improved on 2013. If we had the benefit of one week notice that it is postponed, we will save a lot in terms of time, in terms of inconveniences, and even the shock. For those who are here to observe, I don't know what to think, but for weak relief players, it's a huge shock. I'm happy with the rather uh, moderate tone of the PDP. Uh, you know, but me, I, I come from the village this morning. I didn't sleep all night, we mobilized all day. So I asked you, sir. Why did you inform us at least 48 hours before when you notice that you have issues with weather, you have issues with logistics, and at the airport people can see a lot of cargoes? You didn't know all of this until 2 a.m. this morning? For me, that is the issue. And I want to associate myself with the young lady who says, of course you can't for the surface for It doesn't offer me any comfort. I think you must go further to apologize to the Nigerian nation because you have a us as a country and as a people. Now, I know how we have to work hard to keep to your administrative guidelines with regards to nominations of candidates, conducting our primaries. And you have been extremely hard. So, why should we accept the explanation now? So, on behalf of the Old Progressive Congress, we demand apology from INEC. We insist that it is wrong to have announced it at 2 a.m. You had the benefit to have announced it much earlier so that you can save us the cause that we have cured. Of course, it would be academic if we were to 
say you pay us. Okay, maybe you can go to court and ask you to say you can provide the evidence. But let me also say that the second question about consultation. Societies are not driven only by adherence to law. There are things that are necessary. You need to consult. And when we came here, able to find a seat, we are told that they are reserved for observers. I said, no, it should be first for the player, then the observer. This is about the Nigerian people, not about our friends. It's about us. It's about us as a people. So please, as much as I listen attentively to all your explanations and I cannot fault them, the only thing that is missing is giving all this part that you know. Why wait till 2.30 a.m. when most decent Nigerians have gone to bed? <laughs> I said that. Thank you. Uh, you. Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Because um, this postponement seems to be a recording decimal. We remember in 2011 we had the same thing. In 2015, as uh, the chairman of APC just mentioned, the statement was printed to the National Security Advisor. It seems to me that it's the institution that was settled with the responsibility of security was the one that always sat off the issue of postponement. Even in 2019, before you postponed the election as it were today, uh, the Attorney General of the Federation was positioning a letter that the Zampara State election should be postponed, thereby linking it to most situations that we are having today. While we salute your courage, I think it's very important that the early warning signals have already been established and that the uh, quick intervention will have been made if we had constant communication, even on telephone or all we will have given this particular uh, postponement a more strengthened position. But in essence, you must have that intelligence unit attached to your office to give you both internal and external reports about those that may be sabotaging your effort internally and externally. I'm saying this with due respect to the information I had at a particular time in 2015. So this must be established so that it can guide you, no matter how good your intentions are, if this information did not come out on time for us to give you the backing, you may find yourself in a serious situation and then we will find it difficult to give you the support that you require. But we as political parties, as political stakeholders, we are ready to give you support, but you must keep us informed on time so that when your decisions come out, it will be a collective one. I thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much. Political parties were invited to our political party leaders. And I remember it was the only meeting with I that the national chairman of the then APC, His Excellency uh, J. Oyego attended the whole time. The issues were presented to parties. These are their thoughts of what do you say? And I remember Professor Jagat then said every party must vote yes or no on what will happen. And he still very carefully, 22 parties. Then there were about 27 parties in the country. 22 parties voted yes that day. Then to be changed. So it was not the decision of the president. So we must keep the record straight. Um, having said that, yes, we are disappointed about what happened, but then we are all human too, and we commend your uh, sincerity in inviting us. Yes, we will have invited you there, but we also understand because of the humongous logistic issues we are having, yes, your meeting lasted till late in the night. Yes, we can also say, yes, we always say. It was late, it was too late, but political meetings when you actually go. I was awake up to 2 a.m. last night, and people were still complaining, and that is my first point. The point is, as at 1 a.m., the party official, my party agents in Anambra said, were calling to say they have not been able to uh, assess their agent plans in Anambra State. They were not given that. So, Mr. Chairman, I want you to look at this. In Anambra State, as at 12 midnight, most of the uh, party officials, uh, the agents of the party, have not collected their agent types. And then some of my people also called from Lagos, and then some from call from Kano, some call from Benin. So we were receiving calls, it was like situation. And then the information management of INEX should also be looked at. Because as a 2 end, one of your uh, commissioners was still insisting that the election will hold, that they were meeting regular online, and that the election will go on. Only for Ross to get additional information at 235 or 240 there about that the election has been shifted. Then, how does it again? The second point. Also, look at 
a PVC distribution like Lagos State, for instance. Lagos State is a very particular area. Areas like Amor Dolphin, like Ojolo Kaojo area, like uh, Ajaromi, like Leki, a whole lot of people from different sides of the country have not been able to access that PVC as of yesterday. There were numerous companies about that. They have not been able to access it. And you go there, what's your name? They look at the guy. Okay, come to uh, five days uh, five days after. They look at your name and they no no come tomorrow or go to the other side. So the first area, a more up area, or joy area, a lava area, and uh, towards where you have last. Most of the people in those areas have not been able to access their PVC. So Mr. Chairman, I will want you to look at that. We are not very happy with what has happened. Yes, there are causes of such, but you are inviting us to explain the situation. We also understand it. But, like my colleagues have said, the resources deployed are just too much of a factor. Yes, well, but what can we do? It is better we get it right. It is better we get it right. I thank you, Chairman, for the Young Democratic Party. Ask a couple of questions. But the Commission should apologize. The Nigerians for the postponement of the election. I think it's just a matter of which adjective you use. In, my, in the last paragraph of my statement, I think I've done so without using exactly the same adjective that you use. But it amounts to the same thing. First and foremost, we are public officers, accountable to the Nigerian people, and our part, first responsibility is the protection of the public interest. And we take that responsibility seriously. I said so on my behalf as chairman and on behalf of the commission. We regret what happened yesterday or early this morning. Campaigns closed at midnight on Thursday last week. And for the period that remains, Campaigns will remain closed. All the other processes were provided for in the main timetable and schedule of activities will remain in force, including the collection of TVCs. Remember, we promised that we are going to give you the complete breakdown of the number of TVCs collected and then mop up and warehouse the uncollected TVCs in the central bank until after the election when collection of the cards will resume, as well as the registration of new voters. So for what remains is for us to take the six steps I out, outlined in my written statement uh, so that we conclude this election so Saturday. Chairman APC, why the next step? Until close to two in the morning, we were still confident that election will go. For three days, since Wednesday, many of the commissioners, including myself, have virtually been sleeping at the Abuja airport. We mobilized all national assets to ensure that we deliver what remains of electoral logistics to locations and to conduct the election. But unfortunately, we couldn't continue with the elections the way elections are supposed to be conducted. And therefore, we took the bold decision of making the statement that we did. But we were there at the airport to all the people that can provide any support that you can imagine, including contact with private airlines to, to get cargo airplanes that can deliver electoral notices to locations. But as I said, after the 2015 general election, this nation needs a conversation on the management of elections. We'll come back to it big time. Presidential candidate in National Conscious Party, intelligence units against our force. Let me just say no tech. 